Hi folks, Brian Conroy here. Um, in my first video uh, about the garage remodel, I laid out kind of what the plans were for how we're gonna divide the garage and all. And so I just wanted to do an update, kind of a part two, because um, I've kind of laid the groundwork, uh, kind of built the skeleton for the shop, put the tools kind of where I'm gonna want them. And so uh, I'll just give you a quick uh, show of what that is. Okay, so we did divide the garage and um, instead of where the idea was to put two garage doors and divide it completely, uh, it just didn't work out logistically, honestly. So, but what we did is we, I just built a wall here between, so that she's got about 12 and a half feet and I've got about, hmm, let's see. No, she's got about 16 feet. I've got 12 feet on my side or so. So she needed a little bit more room. We got to get the car in here in the winter time. Um, if it wasn't so nasty here in, in the winter, uh, we wouldn't need the car in the garage, but we do. So she uh, buys and sells a lot of antique collectibles. And uh, so the problem was I would be working in my shop and the dust would get over here and then her some of her creep stuff would creep over. And so she's put some pictures on the wall, which is nice. We gave it a little warm color, uh, white, white ceiling. Took out down all the fluorescence, the old fluorescence with the big old ballast and the, you know, and the flickering lights. And got these real cheap uh, LEDs that just work fantastic. They don't weigh anything. You can drop them, can't break them. You can daisy chain them because they only pull 40 amps each. You could put four or five together <clears throat> easily. So, and that's what I've done. So I did brighten up everything. But this is my shop. And uh, it's a work in progress like everybody's shop is, but this one is just in its infancy. Um, just getting the tools out and on the wall. This is my old cabinet and it's nasty looking on top and I'll probably sand that down and pretty that up. Uh, I got a nice tool here um, for myself. Um, the saw stop, this is the three horsepower cabinet saw. Um, Choice on the 175 or three, or three horse. The three horse is 220, single phase. I had 220 single phase over here for a welder. I had put these in 10 years ago, these outlets. So I can run a welder outside. I've got one outlet out there too. And it worked out great to give me the 220 heater here. So in the cold of winter, I can warm the shop up pretty darn quick because now it's all insulated. So when we put the, we did not have a ceiling on it, um, I did all the drywall on the walls, but I had somebody else do the ceiling and put up uh, insulation. Then on my walls, I put three quarter inch and I went for the maple, uh, so the top of the line plywood, just because I, I like the look of it. And of course, then I can hang anything on this wall. Her, her wall, I did drywall because she didn't care on her side, but this is really what I needed. Um, so got the table saw, also picked up the nice rigid Home Depot um, miter saw and it goes both directions and it's got those cool, instead of the slider bars, it's got those cool robotic uh, collapsing arms on this, that's cool. So I followed directions on YouTube on how to build this using, I bought a little pocket, uh, got a little, you know, Craig Jig pocket thing. And that is so convenient. I got to tell you, that's, that's a good investment because for the kind of stuff you want to do. Um, so, you know, I framed this together really nice. Um, bought some levelers, get it all level, all plumb. Um, put my fence on here nice. This is all screwed down. I have um, dust collection in the back. I'm going to want to put a face on here of some sort to help trap that. But I've got a system here, my whole dust collection system, where I can uh, run this hose out to the table saw over here. Um, and I'll put quick connects on those things. And, and, or I can go underneath here, open this gate, and that goes um, underneath the uh, miter saw. I also brought down a, a leg of it here so that we can pick up the debris from the back. And so, you know, uh, I've run it. You still gonna get some dust, but it sure helps a lot. So I've got this out for an accessory tool. Might run this over. Got something here I put down for my drill press that I can, I, I imagine that's where the drill press will live, I suppose. Went out and got the Harbor Freight standard um, dust collection system that everybody has. I've run it, even the first time I ran it, not satisfied at all with, 
um, the fine dust that comes out of this bag. So I've ordered the wind pleated filter. And uh, of course, everybody's video explains what a huge advantage that is because you've got a lot more surface area on the filter because it's pleated five or six times as much. So you'll move a lot more air through it that'll help the suction, uh, but it'll also reduce the fine dust down quite a bit. And then I, I see there's a thousand different ways um, you can modify this. And at some point I will probably do that. I'll put the motor on the wall and then have a collection bin and uh, use the cyclone and all that stuff. Uh, also got myself another toy. You know, I got, I got the standard toys that you're gonna want. Um, so haven't hardly used this much at all, but um, this is pretty bulletproof. And I figure if you're going to get a planer, um, just get one that is so highly rated um, and so much satisfaction for people with this. Even with the standard blades it comes with, uh, you can put spiral blades in there later if you want to spend another $400, that's great. Um, I did bring, um, I brought the lines over here for the whole system so I can go even dust collection down there. Um, I brought it around the other side, so there's the two outlets on this. So the other outlet I brought up behind, this also a nice little purchase. Um, and brought it down here so I can do dust collection here. I can do it at my bandsaw and then at my sander. And then I'll have another drop down here for whatever I want to mount here. Um, so I've got surfaces, I've got drawers, I've got a lot of the things I need. This is Costco, it's adjustable. I'm, I bought that to use as an outfeed table because you can crank it just the height you want. And you can lock the feet and it's got a couple of nice drawers that I've got to fill out yet. Um, and so trying to get everything organized, pretty happy with it so far. Uh, got my Husky, I've had this Husky compressor for a few years. Got that tied into a line, bought the lines um, online, so to speak, and got these hooked up where I'm, I can have air here, air down at the end. I do also have a small compressor, it's mobile. So that solves my air solution. This solves my, uh, my solution for dust control. And then I did put a lot of outlets in the wall. I've got two over here and I've got one here and I put my wife, she's got three on that side too. Then the other thing is to bring up these, um, you know, uh, extensions so that uh, I can get plugins wherever I want them. I've got to add one over here and do a couple things like that. So a lot of things to kind of fix yet. I'm not happy with the, the cord's not long enough on the saw stop. Um, obviously come summer, I won't need this plugged in anyway, so I can run that over, do some quick connects. Um, got some modifications to do, but anyway. That's where I'm at to wrap up the whole story anyway. Um, obviously, it was a garage, so I had a lot of stuff in here. Stuff related to the car, stuff related to anything else to maintain the house. And so the challenge is to make this a woodworking shop, but also have the capacity to have a bench to do some other types of mechanical work that I might need to do. Um, it would be great to have two shops, right? But we just don't have that luxury. So there's a lot of stuff that was in here that is gone. Um, we had the big purge and got rid of a lot of stuff, but I am going to have to organize stuff. I did pull out of here, um, for other challenges later. So I was also going to say, I did put as much on wheels as I could. This is just an old bench, but heck it works. I like the fact it's tall. I'm six, six. So I put this one on wheels. Um, and it's got a couple old drawers in it. But, uh, and then of course the table saw is on the nice uh, base. I got the good base, the industrial base, because it makes so much sense to be able to move that around every direction instead of having two wheels that don't turn. And of course this is on wheels. So everything's on wheels really. Um, also bought the stand for the DeWalt, so that's, that's that way as well. So, um, I do have some other tools here that I want to break out. I do have a nice vacuum system, Festool vacuum system, which I actually absolutely love. I'm going to have to find a place to mount that um, where I can use it on a on a horizontal horizontal or vertical surface. So I'm going to figure that one out. And um, 
And I've been doing some projects, building some chairs that I got to get back at where I also use the, um, well, I use the Festool Domino system. So um, I've, I've got to make a bin over here for scrap wood. Obviously, this is the mess part here. So, so for flat goods and then somewhere else for scrap. And I'll get that all organized here. I've got all my big eight foot clamps are upstairs in the attic right now. So I just have a few clamps out. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of clamps and a way to mount those out here somewhere, or I mean store them. So, uh, so a lot of challenges left um, to get stuff fit in, but uh, I feel lucky to have a shop that is 28 feet by 12 or so. And it is nice to have the garage door so you can just get stuff in and out of here. I have a covered area out this door that's also nice to have. So um, I hope everybody's uh, yeah, doing well with their shop. And again, if you have any ideas, uh, maybe leave something in the comments. And uh, But it's, it's nice to try to finally get organized. And I love woodworking, so uh, I want to get back at it. And, um, you know, got all kinds of ideas for stuff I want to do. So, all right. See you on the go-round.